Hello and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the turtle outside outline icon design. And yes, it rhymes. We have our colors on the right hand side. We have our gradient 1700 by 1700 with this cloudy sort of um, texture here. And behind it is a radio gradient. So let's get started. First, we're going to select our rectangles and squares tool from our toolbox. And we're going to create, just repeat that. We're going to create, hold down shift and control, and we're going to create um, a square. Then we're going to go to our stroke style. If you do not have it open, you can go to fill and stroke. And we're going to increase the stroke style to 30. Right. Then we're going to get these two circles here, these nodes. It may be up here for you. You're going to hold control and you're going to scale down. Um, somewhere about here is good. Let's scale this down a bit too. Good. Let's carry this down. Next, we're going to hit hit B or go to the Bezier tool, hold control, draw a straight line across. Let's bring the straight line to close to the top as possible. And we're gonna hold shift to select the both of them. And we're going to go to path, cut path. We're going to delete the top path, leaving us with this. We're gonna double click and select these two nodes. See that show transformational handles is selected hold control and lift up a bit good then we're going to grab these three nodes right here and shift them to the slide shift this up slightly a bit more and grab them again and shift them to the side holding control and just pull them to the side and then let's bring it down a bit Lift up slightly, just a little bit more. And we've got our first foot. Next, we're going to select the square rectangle tool. Hold the rectangle out. Control and shift to pull out so that it's proportional. Good. Then we're going to double click, hold this square and carry it down. Come to the circles, hold control again and get a perfect circle. Get, uh, and bring the circles down um, evenly and then we're going to just duplicate this foot carry it over here flip it and that gives us our second foot we duplicate with control D by the way and now we can move into the dome or the shell we want to draw a circle Let's scale it out. And we're going to bring it about here. Press B or go to Bezier. Click. Hold control for a straight line. Right across the dome. Hold this around here. And we're going to go path and cut path. Similar to what we did for the feet. I'm going to bring it down slightly. And we have our dome. Next, we're going to create two squares. And because we rounded them um, earlier, they may be still rounded. We're going to bring them and make them sharp at the corners. I'm going to duplicate with Control D and make another square. Good. Now we're going to do is double click, and we notice that it is it has the two square nodes in the circle, means that it still belongs to the rectangle object so what we want to do is change this object to a path so we're going to go into path object to path you can go do you're going to do the same for this one here but you're going to hit Control shift and c which is the same thing but just a shortcut so that you know the both of them next we're going to select the lower rectangle and we're going to highlight the two nodes at the bottom and we're going to go to Delete segment between two endpoint nodes. Good. 
So to show you what this does, we're gonna put this in red and it's deleted the segment down here. We're gonna do the same for the top of this. Go and delete segments between two endpoint nodes. Good, return this to the same gray color. Select the both of them. We're gonna go into stroke style. You should still have it open. And we're gonna use the square cap because we don't want them rounded. Let's just show you what that does. Squared it off, rounded, squared, good. So what I'm gonna do here, select the top one, select the two nodes. With the handles now, we're gonna hold control and, sh and shift. And we're just gonna pull out. Pull out a little bit more, great. Let's carry this down a bit. Give our top one a bit more space. And we're going to do the same with this, but not quite as much. Just a little bit out, good. And we can carry this down slightly until it comes in touch with the dome itself. Great, so we've got our turtle shell, our feet, and the dome. Next, we're gonna move on to the tail. So we're gonna get two circles. Let's reduce the stroke to something a bit more easy to see, the size of this tail. I'm gonna duplicate again. Good, and we're gonna place the circles round about here together. And what we're trying to do here, we want a tail that flicks up, but it's not so big. And let me just highlight the parts that we are trying to create the tail with. If we notice right here, put this in a different color. This is where the tail would be created. Good. So you want to make sure the top circle, I'll put this in a different color, is above the lower circle. Right now it's below, so I'm going to put it above. And then we're going to select both circles and go to path and difference. Great. So we've got the circle going on here. But we still have this kind of moon shape here. So what we want to do, we want to get rid of this moon. So first thing you're going to create a box and just cover the top side of the moon. And I'm going to select the moon and the box. I'm going to go path and difference. Lastly, we're going to duplicate this dome. Put it in a different color so we can see the duplication. We're going to select the end nodes. We're going to add a segment to them. And then I'm going to select the moon and difference also, object path and difference. So we're left with this tail. What, maybe something up here? Nope. Great. I'm going to get rid of this green in between them. And I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Seems to be something at the top too. Let's draw it out so we can see. Okay, it's got a bit more shape to it, so let's just get rid of the rest of the shape. Draw a box around there. Select it and go path and difference. I highly recommend that you see the tutorial on the Boolean modes, and that would help you a lot if you're <coughs> struggling with these, with the path difference and um, intersect so we're going to bring this back up to 30 it's got a kind of pointed undesirable tail so we're going to make this into a curve with a rounded joint and that should quench it may want to play about tail bit it's a little bit dumb fact okay next we're going to move on to the head now I've already pre-prepared the circles because this makes it easier for me, but you would do as a similar thing. So in essence, the circles here 
are representing the same thing that we did with the tail but for the neck and we want this area right here for the tail and this circle represents the head so what we're going to do I'm going to select these two circles make sure the green circle is above the yellow circle in this instance and we're going to go to path and difference I'm going to get another moon shape right next <coughs> we're going to create another box we're going to cover the moon shape right near the head about half of the head right here and we're going to go path selecting both the box and the moon shape let's remove the stroke so that we can see what we're working with and we're going to select this and the box and we're going to go to path and difference next in the circle let's try and get the circle to be as um to be about double the size of the neck in terms of this this is about good and we're going to go to B I'm going to cut the circle with a bezier right about here path cut path going to delete the bottom keep the top we're going to select this moon shape that we have here and we're going to delete the segment between it then we're going to zoom in a bit you can zoom in with your middle mouse wheel select these nodes right here and we're going to join them together we join selected nodes great now here it's a little bent but it's not that not much of a problem then we're going to increase the width from 2 to 30 and we're going to get this dome duplicated and cut this neck with this dome great and that gives us this sort of turtle turtle neck you can also decrease the size of it a bit this is a bit big and the next part of this circle is that we need an eye now the head in my instance is kind of small but you have time to to um to create a better sized head good so we have our eye right here so we have our outline complete we're going to highlight the entire turtle duplicate lift it up here holding shift we're going to change the pixels in the stroke amount to about three good and then we're going to fill in the space So we're just lifting up the nodes so that there's no space in between them. Apart from the inside, you can leave those. We just want the outside nodes to be filled. And this looks about good. So we're going to highlight everything by drawing a box around it. And go to Path and Union. Let's get rid of this middle part. Yeah, we're going to let's check it. Yeah, we're going to paint it green. Move the strokes. Come down and drag it down. Um, about here. Drag it a little bit to the right hand side. And we're just going to lower it to the bottom and raise it two times. Lastly, it needs a an eye slightly and we're just going to use this as an eye and cut it out and there we have our outside outline icon design 
if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up um, the tutorial and its its breakdown will be in the blog post so you can always check back on it if you miss something in the voiceover or in this video or you want to take your take your time trying to work this out I hope you enjoy this tutorial but until another one comes get up and design and do the one later